Hey everybody, it's Matt from Akuma Mods, um, and I wanted to uh, basically show off um, some interesting information that I found out when I decided to do an update on Sheetubox. Uh, so Sheetubox just recently updated to 1.6.1. Um, and uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but that's what it says right up there in the corner, 1.6.1. Uh, so with that, obviously, there's a lot of optimization for current printers and everything like that. Um, some new options, new things on how it slices, basically make, making it better in, in a lot of ways. Um, I haven't went through everything yet, but uh, I will... Uh, take a look in it later on tonight but i wanted to show this off most importantly so she box also updated some profiles and added some new profiles to their printing section so i was searching through them just to see what new machines they have because i do have some hyia uh, 3D printers that I wish I had profile set up for, but unfortunately they don't have that on here because they're kind of the oddball printer. Anyway, I'm talking your guys' ears off. Let's get right back into it. So, on here, you guys can probably see this. What does that say? It says Elegoo Mars Pro. Not only that, we can also add in ta -ta -da -da, the Elegoo Saturn. Not only can we add it in, but we also have a picture, so photo proof that it actually exists. We have a setup for it already, so this is exactly what it's going to look like. It looks very similar to my Hiya uh, printer. So we're going to go ahead and add in that. Um, first off, we're going to look at the Mars Pro and the regular Mars. So I have not touched these profiles at all. I just kind of reloaded them right now. Uh, so pretty much every time uh, she do box updates i reload these options and save all my settings in a document and just replug them in because they do add some stuff in it and unfortunately the profiles don't seem to update at least the printer profiles now you can probably do that somewhere in here i haven't really played too much around with it but anyway let's go ahead and look at the difference between the elegoo mars pro and elegoo mars the regular one so just switching back and forth, you can see that the resolution is staying the same. So no upgraded screen or anything, no upgraded build volume at all. So pretty much the same printer. Um, so we're gonna go over to, uh, we're gonna skip resin because resin is not really that important. That's specific to the resin. So at least in she two box slicing. Um, so we do have this all set up for the Elegoo Mars Pro and the Elegoo Mars. So it looks like they're pretty much the same exact uh, machine in all terms. So we have anti-aliasing. So there is a difference between this. So we have the choice between choosing our levels on the regular Elegoo, but not choosing our levels on the Pro. So that's a little different um, for, for at least the Sheetu box options. So that's pretty basic obviously th there are some upgrades with the elegoo pro that are going to make it a little bit better but uh, in all honesty you're going to get the same exact build machine as the regular mars so in my opinion it should have just made like a 1.2 that's just my two cents anyway let's get on to what's really more important that everybody asked for the Elegoo Saturn, which is right here. So we do have a confirmation that Elegoo is going to name it Saturn. Um, so let's go ahead and look at regular Elegoo Mars. So we got 1440 by 250 or 2560. And the Elegoo Saturn is 2560 by 1600. Now, I'm not a scientist in any way, but I believe that's a 4K resolution, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, again, I haven't really looked too much into this. I'm still very new to resin printing um, and all this stuff. So, But uh, obviously, the change in resolution, that's a big difference. Another thing you guys will notice is the build size volume is quite beefy. Uh, so we have 192, 120, and 200. That is a pretty big printer. So... We are going up the Z by 50, 
Uh, we are staying the Y at the same um, same height, and the X is where we're going to get some more build volume. So we're going from 68 on the Mars to 192. So 16, sorry, math in my head. Um, so, yeah, pretty much uh, over double uh, the build size volume for the X. So that's definitely really, really nice to have. Um, let's see here. It says LCD mirror, LCD mirror. So they are still controlled by an LCD. So, But I wanted to show that off and uh, basically let you guys know that she 2 box is confirming this. So in my opinion, it is confirmed that the Elegoo Saturn is coming out. So when it's coming out, I have no idea. I've heard some rumors say possibly early next year. Possibly even in December. I don't know. I'm not buddy buddy with Elegoo, unfortunately. Not a, not yet, at least. But I figured I'd let you guys know about that. Uh, this is updated in their uh, She Two box for the slicing, and uh, you can get a basic reference of what the printer looks like. So, it does look very nice in my opinion compared to the regular Elegoo, which is you know kind of slimline, whereas this one's more. Uh, fatter, uh, wider uh, on the uh, the X. So, like I said, d pretty much double the size. So that's really, really nice to have that extra sizing on there. That's a really, really big plate. Um, unfortunately, the uh, width size is not really uh, anything different. So that's an unfortunate downside, but, I mean, that, that's still better to have at least something on the X. So um, again, uh, you know, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, this is something I just kind of stumbled on. You can check it out for yourself. All you have to do is update your uh, sheet two box. Uh, if you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up um, and go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we got some more videos coming the next couple weeks, so stay tuned and uh, definitely hit the notification bell if you haven't as well and we'll get you notified whenever we do get those videos up for other resin printers so until then happy printing